Coates, 9100, coming at you. It's good old Friday, October 9th, 2020, 514 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I got everything done on the van that I needed to get done for today, which was uh, changing out the old oil that was in it and also new oil filter and greasing up all the grease fittings on the front end. And also, I decided to buy a new air filter. I think I could have got away with probably using the old one again by blowing it out with the air compressor. But they're only $6 and, you know, 29 cents. Uh, the first thing I always do is I, you know, take these screws out and then pop this up. And then um, I always wipe the air filter box out. I usually take some, a uh, couple blue shop towels and then uh, run some water over them and then just squeeze them, rinse them out uh, real good and then just wipe the box out really good inside the box. It wasn't that bad anyways and then the top part as well and the sides and then go over it with a dry rag and wipe it all dry. And then uh, and that's good, you know. And I got the new air filter right here so it's nice, nice, nice shiny clean one. But the other one wasn't that bad, you know. I mean, I probably could have reused it, but they're not that expensive. If they were like 20 bucks a piece, I'd be blowing it, blowing it out with the air compressor and reusing it. But they're cheap, you know. You can buy them cheap and and that. So, and here's the old one. It, it's it's a little dirty, but it wasn't that bad. I could have blown it out. Got a new one. Um, like I said, here's the. Got all that done. Greased up good. Upper and lower ball joints, tire rod ends, um, all that good stuff. And uh, it was a really nice day today, too. Couldn't ask for a better day. It was a nice sunshiny day. Get this side good and greased up as well. It's always good to keep your tire rod ends grease, upper and lower ball joints, um, all that stuff. There's the new oil filter. Got that on. Um, I always start it up, let it run a while, check for leaks. No leaks. And I always put oil in the oil filter. Some people just put, some people just take the oil, new oil filter, stick their finger in the oil, go around it with the uh, new oil, and put it right on. Uh, you know, around the gasket with the new oil, and put it right on. You're always supposed to fill the oil filter up, you know, with the new oil. Take the new oil, fill up the new oil filter, be careful. You know, put it in probably almost a half a quart, not quite, um, in a new uh, oil filter. And then uh, it's easy to do. Just stick your finger in the new oil and just go around the gasket and you're good to go. Also, here's the oil plug. I always check for leaks on the oil plug. No, no leaks around there. So um, it's good to go. I'm probably going to run this thing a little more because that's expensive oil. Should be able to get 5,000 miles before you do an oil change. I mean, they say you do three. That friggin' oil is like 30 bucks. And then uh, the next project is going to be a couple more projects. The next project is going to be is uh, spark plugs and wires, which I'm going to try to tackle tomorrow. Um, uh, tomorrow, you know, I just I think what I'll do is get some PB blaster uh, and spray all the spark plugs. You know where they go into the the engine? They might come right out. They might not. But it probably wouldn't hurt anything just to spray them because they've been in there for a long time. I've never changed them out, so we'll see how that project goes tomorrow. I got all the plugs. I got all the I got all the spark plugs. I got all the spark plug wires, distributor cap, rotor. Um, the, putting on distributor cap and rotor and wires is is not that bad. It's getting the plugs out. Sometimes they'll come out. Sometimes they don't want to come out. Anyways, next project is going to be the, the front fuel tank. First thing you want to do is 
get these three little screws out. There's one there. There's one over here. One over there. Get that on connected right there. And then um, there's two metal straps. There's two metal straps up under there. Uh, see, there's the fuel tank right there. There's two metal straps right there. And then you put a floor jack, put a floor jack under there with a piece of wood. You get like a 2x10 two by, two by or 2x12. Cut it just right. Put the floor jack under there. After you get the strap, I mean, put it under there and snug it up with a floor jack. And then um, get the straps off. You can lower the tank down. I might run the van up on some ramps. That'll bring it up a little bit more. We'll see how that goes. That's going to be, because I want to change that fuel pump out. I've been running on just my back tank for a long time. Uh, a new fuel pump with the float assembly and everything, like $97, $100. But I'm, I'd am like to have my other fuel tank back working. So uh, Probably won't get to that tomorrow, but probably get the plugs and wires done tomorrow. And that'll be great. So, oh yeah, also a cop came by today and he says, you know, you, you shouldn't be, uh, what did he say to me? How did he say, you can't be doing this out here in the parking lot. What are you doing? I said, I'm changing the oil in my van. And he said, you can't really be doing that. I said, well, I'm not, I said, I'll, I'll, I'll clean up everything and, uh, you know, pick up everything. Uh, he says, you know, you, Home Depot could get sued for that. I said, I, ain't nobody saying nothing. And then he just kind of looked at me and he said, okay. And he drove off. These people over here, that guy in that, that camper over there has been living here for like six months straight. I don't, see, I don't see them running them out of here. This guy with the white van over here, he's been working. He's got his whole van tore apart. Half the engine tore out of it. I had to go over and see him today because I didn't have an oil filter wrench. That oil filter was super tight. I said, son of a gun. I said, I'd have to go in and buy an oil filter wrench? Usually I can put them on by hand and take them off by hand. I went to get the oil filter off this thing right here. Off this thing right here. It, I couldn't get it off. I had both hands on it. Uh, you know, put a shop towel around it. I couldn't get it off. So I walked over there to that guy. He's got a whole thing full of tools. That whole van right there, that white van, is full of tools. It's like a garage in there. So you got an oil filter wrench? He said, yeah, sure, I'd let you use it. He's a nice guy. He's but got his whole van tore apart. He's doing it. He's got half the engine tore apart on the top. It's a diesel, one of those diesel vans, sprinter vans. Uh, and he's living in that bigger motor home there behind it. It's like a class, it's class A. Uh, but anyways, and um, so, you know, I don't know why this cops just can't leave you alone, you know. It really ain't, they ain't the police department unless somebody calls them. Home Depot didn't call them. He just wanted to come by and say something, you know. And then he drove off. Good. And uh, I took all the old oil that I drained out of it. And I took all that and I put it back into the five-quart container. And then I had another quart container, uh, a little bit more because it was left over. And then I um, took that back to the parts store. They take it for free. It's um, You can take it back for free. They don't charge you. But, uh, and that, so anyways, that's about all I got to say. My tummy's getting hungry. The tummy's getting hungry. So, with that being said, I'm going to talk to you guys later. And, um, another successful day with the dinosaur right here in the parking lot. Living in corporate America, huh? The cops don't like it and the managers don't like it. And you trolls don't like it, but you know what? Go fuck yourself. Kick fucking rocks. Because there's going to be a Coats 9000 series in America. In these parking lots, baby. And if I want to tear that son of a gun apart, I'm going to do it. Peace out.